So the European uh, Championships for the men's elite race was on Sunday and it's very exciting because both first place and second place have uploaded to Strava, which is really exciting. So we can compare the power and at the end of the video, copyright willing, we're gonna show the power data side by side and you know, you really get to see the difference between Remco Evenepoel and Sonny Colabrelli. Now we're gonna go through Colabrelli's power data first just because he won, so be rude not to. Uh, so anyway, this is the general file, 355 normalizer, four hours pretty standard stuff that's you know is obviously very impressive but that is what these boys can produce uh threshold 430 is 72 that seems pretty big but you know around six watts per kilo a little bit less standard for cold rally uh 97k an hour 1400 watt max sprint almost which is good so this was the circuit um well this was the circuit and this was the beginning part so you know first climb as always like 5.2 watts per kilo for 13 minutes not too crazy again here on this climb you know, it was, it, the break gone, it was just calm. Uh, again here, 5.7 for nine, it's, it's hard. It's quite a short race really, only four and a half hours. You know, normally on a big race like this, like nationals, Europeans, world championships, maybe maybe six to seven hours is, is more normal. Um, and then on this climb again, it was, it was hard, like 5.7 for 12 and a half minutes. That's like pretty, you know, it, okay, it's probably at its threshold, maybe a little bit above or a little bit below, sorry. So, you know, it's hard, but it's not ridiculous. Um, and then there's this circuit. So the climb is called Engineer's Hill. Quite fitting, considering like 99% of cyclists are engineers, it seems. Uh, but anyway, again, first lap, 400, 400, 400. Um, and then, you know, it's obviously ramped up here. There are quite a lot of attacks on, on the th fourth ascent. Um, you can see it, you know, this last part here is a lot steeper, up to 7%. Uh, eight watts per kilo for two minutes 40. Now that's a big selection there. That's gonna drop a lot of people because you know, it's not like they've been soft tapping up the climb, you know, they're riding at 5.7 and then, you know, this is where it is. You can see the real big um, surge here to follow the attack was, uh, you know, 11 watts per kilo for 25 seconds and then sits down into a hard tempo. And that's obviously a large, um, large selection. That was the second fastest time. Again, this one's a little bit easier, probably the easiest of the whole thing. And in between the lap, it really wasn't too hard. Like 250 normalized is like zone two for him. So really not too hard at all. Again, this one, five and a half, five and a half. And then this again, was more selections were formed. Uh, I believe this was when Cosnefoir and uh, Colbrelli were away. And then the final climb uh, was really where the final selection was done. And it was just left with Remco and big boy Colbrelli. Now this is six and a half watts per kilo. Remco says a bit more, but Remco's power day, and we'll get into that. We know it's a little bit high. Maybe his weight's higher. Maybe his power meter is just not as accurate. I believe Bahrain are on SRM, so I trust that. He's on 4i, it's right side, left side, don't trust that. It's Shimano, Shimano Palmi is not accurate. Maybe the new ones are, but at the moment we know it doesn't work very well because they're asymmetric, which is not good. But you can see again, this last part here, two and a half uh, minutes, 6.8 watts per kilo. And this is the thing is like, to drop Cobrelli, you're riding at six and a half to 6.8 watts per kilo, let's say for six minutes, and he's not getting dropped. That's like pretty hard. Like. There aren't many people who can do more than that and drop Colbrelli. And this is the thing, Colbrelli, I reckon he just doesn't get tired. End of the race, he's just still whacking out big, big numbers. Um, and if we look at Remco's ride, um, you're gonna see, I mean, again, big numbers here, potentially larger. Like if you look at all these climbs, like they're like what half a watt per kilo to 0.3 watts per kilo more. So Colbrelli was 5.7, this is 6.1. So again, is his power meter over reading. Maybe if we look at the last climb, again, he's got the com up here, 6.8 watts per kilo. Um, you know, that's that's quite a lot. He does 420, only 50 watts less than Colbrelli, and the time is obviously the same. You can see the gaps here were decent. Um, so then it brings us to the final. Now, this is obviously an interesting final, Colbrelli versus Remco. Now, if you're gonna say, you do the sprint 100 times, who's gonna win 99 times? It's gonna be Colbrelli. Uh, so the question is, what does Remco do? So People were criticizing him before the sprint, but if we actually look, he did 240 watts. Like that's, like, I don't think that's gonna change his, change his power data at all, really. I mean, again, if we look at Cole Brelli before, he's doing 260 watts, okay, you know, the, the draft and all the rest of it. All I'm trying to say is that Remco did not do 400 watts on the front. Like, if we look at this part here, He's doing 300 watts, like that's not, that's not like crazy. Like I know you could say, okay, he should let Cole Reddy go on the front and maybe I do agree that would have made more sense. However, I don't think he really was in a great situation because 
if he leads out Cole Brelly, he guaranteed second. If he doesn't and they catch him, okay, it was a long way away. Cosnova are definitely going to bin him. And then, like, the other lads, Cole Brelly's still going to win. Like, unless it's literally Sam Bennett or someone like that is coming to the finish line, Will Cole Brelly, he's going to bin everyone. So that's why, actually, Cole Brelly probably just said to Remco, it's like, mate, if you don't ride, you're not getting second. If I And I'm getting first. If you ride, I get first. I get first no matter what. And that is just the case. So, anyway... Uh, we'll look at the final power there, and it's pretty, pretty stark difference, really. 1400 watts. He, so he attacked. Um, so he did a little surge to get around the corner first, and then um, on this sprint, I mean, it was like, hang on a minute. We'll just get the actual power there. 1100 watts for 11 seconds, and then you know, peak of 1360. Remco's not coming close. Remco actually ended his Garmin before the race even finished. He was probably just a bit pissed off, but anyway. He did like 1,038, which for like 64 kilos, 62 kilos, somewhere around that. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's not like well-being, but it's not bad either. But anyway, I mean, then he just ended his ride, uh, which is which is quite funny, really. Like, really funny. Like, he just literally like, look, like this is it. Like, he goes around the corner and the finish line is like here. And he's just like, pause the Garmin, lost the race, fuming. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so basically his sprint isn't that good, which is not surprising. So anyway... Now we're going to go see head-to-head -head the power numbers.